Hello Orlando, my name is Jason Bing and I'm the new host for season two. Thanks for all your views and your votes and if you need anything contact us at MyRawDeal.com. Today we're right here with Richard. Richard was back in Pearl Harbor for telling his story. You get a Raw Deal t-shirt. Oh, thank you. So Richard, thank tell you. us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm uh, 86 years old now. So a young guy. I'm a young guy, yeah. <laughs> My body's falling apart. My lungs are still good. <laughs> so do you have any hobbies? Do you, uh, you still out there working? You're retired? Uh, what's, what's up? My whistling, I do. Oh, you're a professional whistler. Bit. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah? You want to yes, whistle us a little something? If you're ready for that. All right, right now we got a war vet who is a professional whistler. You guys ready for this? All right, here we go. Thank think, you. Orlando, this guy's awesome. <laughs> so anyway, you submitted your story. You're a whistler. That's awesome. Tell yeah. us a little bit about your story. What happened? I enlisted in the Navy uh, okay. back, I guess, 42, 43. Oh, back in 1942, yeah. 43. And, okay, uh, great. They put me on board uh, USS Custer, APA 40, which was a, a troop ship. We okay. took the uh, troops into the beach. Mm -hmm. We had on board... Uh, I think 20 or 22 uh, LCVPs, the small landing boats. Okay, little. And uh, we had two of the larger LCMs, same thing, only bigger. And uh, I was a uh, gunner's mate. And when you have a job on a ship, it's not one job, it's many. Okay. Uh, another thing I did, I, I stood watching the uh, crow's nest. Okay, so uh, where did you, where, where were you at? Where'd you go? Saipan, Guam, Kwajalein, and a wee talk. Uh, Lady, Luzon, Okay, so you, Okinawa. You, you, you were there, you, you were in the mix of all that fun stuff, huh? I had them all, yeah. Okay, and back then, did you enlist or did they just come get you? Oh, I enlisted. Oh, okay, great. So in, you wanted to be days, part of this anyway. So. Things were different than it is today. In those days, guys were clamoring to get into the service. So you were over there. I was in the crow's nest in the early morning, and the Japanese always come in out of the sun at the crack of dawn. You could set your watch by it. Okay. Uh, They're coming in to... To get us. <laughs> okay. Coming into bomb you, kamikaze oh, yeah. you. Kamikazes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I saw them coming in and uh, I scampered down the ladder. Well, before they were coming in, is there like some alarm or, or were you well, the alarm? Eventually. I uh, reported them and the alarm went off and now we're everybody scrambling to general quarters. Right, to get to their guns to and, get and to their guns. everything like that. Okay. And my gun was a, a 1.1 quad mount on the port side. Okay, I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a pretty big gun. It's four guns in, in oh, okay. on one mount. <laughs> okay, so not just you running, a couple other guys are with you, right? Oh yeah, Okay. I, I, was, a, I was a pointer on that gun. Okay. And uh, and scrambling to get to my gun. Coming down the crow's nest. Coming down, I jumped from one deck to another. It wasn't far, but the decks early in the morning were dewy, wet. Right, probably the ladder was too, so. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I held on tight. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I slipped and fell. So you slipped and you fell off the ladder, okay. And, and I jumped, uh, jumped and ran to my gun and uh, 
Well, were you in pain when you slipped and fell? I mean, oh, you know, it was it just a It little, hurt, but you don't think about it at the time. Right, all, you know? yeah, you got all this my uh, main adrenaline thing is, coming at you, and you're I, just like, I got to get these guys. I had to get to my gun, and uh, I did. And after, uh, after all the fracas was done and, and things quieted down, I went to sick bay, and they uh, trussed my legs up and... But, so they, uh, they had you in sick bay, and what they do to your legs? I had me in sick bay to, with my legs trussed up and with drains in my legs. Kept me there for about ten days. Oh, okay. They had we had good medics on board. And then they documented all this. Hopefully, yes. And, uh, so yeah. you slipped out of the crow's nest off the ladder. <laughs> they threw you in the hospital, and yeah. then what happened? And uh, when I was released, they told me I would. Uh, Get a purple heart for this. Okay. They physically said, and I said fine, Dick, you're going to get a purple heart, buddy. You're out of here. No big thing. You know, that's, so <laughs> that's you had to document some things? Because I know that when you're yeah. in the military, your documents are like, wherever you go, you have to hand them to this person. They keep that's them. That's right. And then when you leave that, then you go to another place, you take those documents. It's like bringing your driver's license or your social security everywhere, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they had to document this, correct? I should think they could, yes. Okay. And, uh, so when you got out, what happened? When I got out of service, I uh, thought very little of it until uh, one day I applied again, and uh, I was just cast aside. So they didn't, yeah. did they say anything? Did you go to the VA? Who did you no, talk to? No, I, did, I didn't push it, you know. And right, I mean, this happened a long time ago. You went into the military wanting right. to be there thinking that the military is just going to help you yeah. out. In fact, I tried to re-up. Uh, oh, you tried to get back in. But, but there were so many of us at that time, they just, you know, right. going home, kid. Maybe they had the documents <laughs> and they said, you know what, he got hurt. That could be. And, I don't know. Um, but that was the big thing. I, I felt that somebody should recognize it, you know. Wow, Richard, that's a, yeah. that's a heck of a story. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hope that we can find you some justice. I'm going to see if I can find some avenues for you to take. I mean, I know it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, uh, to see if we can't get you something, you know, for the Purple yeah. Heart or, yeah. or something. I mean, you, you, you served back in the day when, when we really needed you. And, well, we appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, Dick. Well, thank you very much for coming out and telling thank us your story. I really appreciate it. And now it's up to you to vote on who you thought got the Ross deal. Is it going to be story number one, story number two, or maybe it's story number three? The choice is yours. Go to MyRawDeal.com and vote now. I'm Jason Bing. Thanks for watching.